I just decided a few days ago that I'm going to make the Barbie checkered dress from the Barbie movie trailer because I'm so excited for the Barbie movie to come out and I love this dress. I love the design of it. I've seen a lot of people make it but I decided I still wanted to make my own version and I just happened to find the perfect fabric at my fabric store and I was not expecting to be able to find this easily. I thought I was going to have to order it online. So I got four yards of this pink checkered fabric and I'm going to make Barbie's dress today. It's such a simple dress. I feel like I could make it today or in less than a day. So that's what I'm going to do and I have a few special accessories that I'm going to use with the dress. The brand Teddy Blake reached out to me the other day and wanted to send me a couple bags to review and use here on my channel. And of course I said yes, because I love handbags. So I wanted to show you which bag I'm gonna be using for this dress today. I got two bags, one for today's video, and then I'm going to make another kind of Barbie inspired outfit for the other bag. It comes with this dust bag and it's so Barbie coated. Look at how cute that is. I'm obsessed with it. It also has like a strap you can connect to it as well. So I'll show that to you later. It's the most beautiful bag ever. I love it so much and it's gonna go so well with this Barbie dress. I cannot wait. All Teddy Blake bags are crafted with premium Italian leather and they have basically a design for any style choice. The quality of it is really good too. The stitches are really even. It feels so nice. Like it just feels expensive. It's gonna match so good with the look. And then I'll show you the other bag I got too. Look at this bag. I haven't taken the tag off of it yet. It's the most beautiful thing ever. This also comes with a strap and it also has like this cool lock thing I still need to add to it. One of the best parts about this brand is they offer luxury bags without the luxury price tag so you can get them for an extremely affordable cost compared to other high-end luxury houses. You'll be seeing more of this bag in another video but this week we're focusing on this bag. I also feel like this is just the perfect size. I think this is the nine inch Kim bag. Here's like a comparison to me. I cannot wait to wear this with the dress. So they have a Barbie of this dress that was released and we're on our way inside Target first to go see if they have it because if I'm making the dress, obviously I need the Barbie that goes with it. Okay, I'm looking for the Barbie aisle. Where? Where's the Barbie? Oh, how oh, fun. Oh my gosh. Oh, they have a bunch of them. Should I get the Ken to match? Ryan Gosling. No, I'm just kidding. We've acquired the Barbie. She's cute. I'm gonna do this unboxing really quick. I'm very, very excited about it. I don't remember the last time I bought a Barbie. I wonder if this is gonna be like a collectible one day. Like, is it bad to take it out of the box? Probably. Oh well, that's fine. You should get a second one. I'm not gonna buy a second one. This was like 30 bucks. Remember our, when we had Barbies? My favorite Barbies were the ones where the joints were like separate all, out of all the Barbies we had. I like the other ones better. Really? The other ones always scared me. No, I, I thought they were better because you can like move them. Oops. Hubert doesn't know either. Even her hands are on different joints. My new Barbie! I'm gonna have this dress. We're gonna be twins, except that my hair's not blonde. And funny enough, someone is watching Barbie Life in the Dream House right now, and it's not me. I was inspired. <laughs> I think that they try to make it look like Margot Robbie. I wish it was just the normal Barbie face. Like, I wish it was just normal Barbie in this dress instead of like a creepy looking Margot Robbie. I love that I have the Barbie. It makes it so much fun to make this dress. And it's honestly such a simple dress. I would feel like I can make it in the next few hours. Like, I feel like I could make this in one day, which I'm certainly going to try to. I just need to make a pattern really quick on this thing. And then to save time, I was feeling lazy and I didn't want to make a petticoat, but she does have a petticoat underneath. So I bought one on Amazon for like 10 bucks. It came in, here it is. I wish it had more poof at the waist, like up here. The poof doesn't start till my hips. I feel like I could add some tool onto it, but I do have that to save time. I think I'm gonna knock out the bodice first maybe, or should I do the skirt first? I'm gonna drape the bodice. I don't know if I'm gonna do a mock-up. I might just use this pattern. I'm sure it will look fine. I am so excited for this movie. I actually haven't been excited as most people. Where's my pin cushion? Like I said, I haven't been as excited as I feel most people have been. But then I watched the trailer. Like I watched the full trailer the other day when I got this idea and I was like, oh my gosh, it looks good. I had only seen a few of the behind the scenes things, but I hadn't really seen a whole lot. And now I cannot wait. Where's my scissors? I'm a Bobby girl in a Bobby world. Also, while you're here, subscribe if you haven't already because I'm so close to a million subscribers. Please, 
I'm begging you, go subscribe. I did make it in like two minutes. So obviously I'm not surprised, but I'm not feeling very confident. This is what the front of it is looking like. So I have a dart there. I know on her dress, there's also a dart somewhere here, but I don't know if I'll need that. So I have this one and then this is the side and back piece. So it's just two pieces and I've cut the fabric out. I do have enough, so I'm going to make it with this so that I don't have to waste my time doing a mock-up if it fits fine. I need to cut out the lining really quick and then we'll sew it together and we'll see how it goes. Oh, I also need to do straps as well. Okay. Time to sew these together. I think I did add, I just cut it, but I am going to do the second dart because I was thinking more about it. And whenever I've done bodices like this, I think I usually do end up having to add one up here. Like it never works out. So I just went ahead and cut that. So now basically, if you don't know what darts are, I'm just going to sew this together, like sew it together on all of these things. And it'll come out kind of like more of a 3D shape. So we're gonna pray and hope together that after this is sewn together, that the pattern works out because I did no mock-up. I think it looks good. Oh wait, it's upside down. Look at this. I was holding it up to me. It looks good. Now I'm gonna do something and not be lazy. I'm actually gonna go iron these pieces. I never iron anything, but I don't know. I feel like it looked nicer once that crease in the middle is gone and if the darts are ironed. I really like working with this fabric because it's like you have a built-in grid. So for example, I'm cutting the straps and it's just like you have a one inch grid on there. So it's really nice. I do need to sew these straps. I always struggle with them because it's hard to turn them right side out. Once you make them, they make those loop turner things. I have one around here somewhere, but it's literally, it's like such crap. It barely even works. In case you're wondering why I always take my glasses off, it's because they have such a glare on them and I hate the glare. So it's easier just to take them off and be a little blind. I found the loop turner I was telling you about. It has like a little, can you see that? It has like a little thing on the end, but it came with zero instructions. And so I think you're supposed to put it on the end like that and hook it through. And then like, oh, wait, I think I got it to work. Let's see. <laughs> Slay. Oh my gosh, it worked. And I was just saying that it didn't. Maybe I need to go iron this as well. Well, I take back what I was saying earlier. The loop threader thingy did work. Let's do it again. Victory! Very depressed. The sun, it was so sunny all day. And now it's all cloud. Shh. Oh my gosh. He drives me crazy. Um, now it's time to sew the bodice together. We're gonna sandwich these straps in here here. Oh my gosh, go. So I have, you know what? You're getting banished. Let's go. I literally can't even deal with him. Oh my gosh. Do you hear him? Anyway, I do love my cat. These right side together at the neckline and I'm gonna sandwich the straps in between them so that they're all nice and neat. So I need to pin this together. This is gonna go so cute with that bag too. I can't wait to try it all together. Oh, I just remembered that she wears a bow in her hair, huh? I need to make a bow as well. What time is it? She does have a bow. Okay. And she has that belt buckle. I bought a belt buckle. I'll show it to you in a second. We got to bedazzle it together. See how the straps, they're in between, they're sandwiched in between these two pieces. That's the key to getting them to look seamless on the inside is that they're sewn in there instead of like sewn on the outside, if that makes sense. Before you turn it right side out, don't forget to clip, oop, I missed a pin. Don't forget to clip the edges. They're sewn. I'm trying it on for the first time. Oh, nice. Here's how it looks. It needs to get ironed down, this edges. And the lighting's so bad right now. Let's see. Oh, wait, this is the wrong side. Oops. This better fit. If it doesn't, I'll be sorely disappointed. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hopefully it fits in the back with the zipper. I just realized I was gonna do a side zipper on this dress. It's too late now. Oh well, back zipper it is. It's time to cut out the skirt now. This is, I think, 45 inch wide fabric and my skirt's going to be about 26 or 27 inches long. I'm gonna just cut all the way down this one line. I've been sitting here for an hour plating this skirt. My neck hurts so bad because my neck always hurts when I do this kind of thing. And I think I finally got it down to how I like it. And I have this much fabric left. Oh, my neck hurts so bad. They're basically just box pleats though, but it just took me forever to figure out the sizing that I like and stuff like that and how many folds to do. It's so pretty. It needs a zipper. I thought I didn't have one, but I found one in the drawer. I searched the edges. Look at it. Oh my gosh. 
I'm so happy. I need to add this zipper and then I need to hem it and then the dress itself will be done and we need to make the bow and the belt buckle. I need to make the belt today and I have a belt buckle right here. Got this at the craft store. It's metal, but it's the perfect size. Like it's kind of okay. I just need to make it look like the other one. My plan is I'm just gonna spray paint it white and then I'm gonna add pearls around it. So I've taken it out to my back patio. We're just gonna give it a good spray. Here's what it looks like, kind of janky. I'm gonna do a second coat, but I'm going to put pearls around the edge, like glue them on, and I think it will look fine. While I let that dry, I'm going to iron this waistband down. It's gonna be two squares wide. I actually don't know if this buckle thing's gonna work. It was looking a little janky. I might try putting pearl beads on wire and seeing how that goes because I don't I don't like the buckle. It's a shame because it looks nice. Like it is a real buckle, but I might have to make a fake buckle. Okay, I'm making, well, my friend doesn't want to be in the video, but she's helping me make the buckle. We got wire, I would show you, but she doesn't want to be in it. We got wire <laughs> and we put these, oh no, I broke it. I'll fix it. And um, yeah, we're, we did, it and we're gonna glue it onto something and then it will work actually that was the one i made that didn't work this is the one she made it looks pretty good mm -hmm. 